Hello Beret Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, we, I mean, it's impossible. It's impossible. We're still in bot gate. We are getting information like crazy all the time. Like, like as I'm doing my last video, I'm literally receiving new information and I'm thinking, shit, now I need to do a new video. Like, what is this? What is this, honey? Like, oh my God. And now we need to keep talking about Lisa Rena because either she is getting fired finally or is she playing with everyone? We have no idea and we definitely definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this mess hey yo meal no my friend my son and my sister i am is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Well, Miss Lisa Rena, I mean, she is in the center of the storm. Okay, she is on the eye of the tornado. She is right there getting all the heat because she is being exposed left and right. Okay, I don't know exactly what is going on, but after her last video, I mean, we did this video yesterday, right, guys? Like, she literally went on on Instagram and posted a video accusing either Kathy Hilton or Lisa Vanderpump or production to being the one behind the bot attack. Okay, if you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. I highly, highly recommend it. I posted it yesterday, but it is insane. She literally said like, oh, things are like so, I mean, so confusing, like out of nowhere, like we are going to move into Aspen and now this is happening. Mm, that's curious. And I'm like, is she literally saying that Kathy Hilton is the one behind the bot attack? And then on the same video, she starts saying that a new that it is so weird that this is happening when a new producer who used to work in Vanderpump Rules, um, now this is happening. And it's like, is she trying to insinuate that Lisa Vanderpump is doing this? Or even worse, that production is actually behind this? And she's literally saying, ah, oh, I have to put on my investigation hat. I have to like put together one, two, three, and five, you know, because when they're coming after me, is that there, there is something else. Like she is also like the big team car, you know, she's also like, like, oh, poor me, everyone hates me. Everyone is always against me. It's like, bitch, you have been destroying life in this show for five years together. Or are we going to are we going to forget Yolanda Hadid and the Munchausen situation or Kim Richards and the uh, You're Close to Dead or Lisa Vanderpump and Poppygate or Denise Richards and Threesome and like all of these things are now are happening. Are we supposed to forget that? Because if someone has been destroying lives here is Lisa Rena. We have been seeing it year after year after year and now she is playing the victim you know and in that video it's kind of like looking for the guilty one who wants to take me down oh my god i'm such a good person like i don't even know how i will that people will think that i will do something like that bitch we have been watching you that's that simple we have been watching you okay <sighs> well now and this is, I mean, this part, it's only rumors, you know, but it's just like what is going around the web. But apparently, Lisa Rena has removed the hashtag Real Housewife of Beverly Hills from her bio. Now, this is a move that a lot of housewives usually do when they got fired or where they're going to quit, you know, or sometimes when they want to get attention. Okay. But most of the time, once you are done with the show, they usually go into their bios and they see, decided to just, you know, erase it. And it's kind of like their way to say, I am not doing this shit anymore. Okay. It will be very interesting if she doesn't end up going to the reunion. 
Like, can you imagine if she doesn't go to the reunion, how crazy, like she will be taking full responsibility for absolutely everything that is going on with Kathy Hilton, with Garcel Boive, with Sutton Strike, like the whole thing. It will be just a mess. But let's be honest, I don't think that Lisa Rena will not go to the reunion. Now, it is, it is curious why she decided to take that. And especially because she joined that move with an another one and is that apparently she has gone on and removed all the pictures that she used to have with any housewife from her Instagram there is only one picture with her and Diana Jenkins and that's it all of the other pictures she removed them from her you know um general instagram so now it's only pictures of her her family and that's it do you think that she is getting angry do you think that maybe bravo was like bitch we don't want you anymore or maybe she quit or maybe she's shaking i mean i mean according to the last thing that i heard was that she was so shaking when the, the whole rumor that Patrick Sommer was going to be at the reunion happened, that she was a mess, that she was shaking, that she was like completely upset because she knows that if this guy comes to the reunion, he's going to expose her. I mean, that's the whole thing, right? Patrick Sommer has been saying over and over that he has all the receipts to expose Lisa Rena. <clears throat> I don't know. And now this is this an indication that she is done with the show? I mean, I'm so over Lisa Rena, you know? And I I never was a fan of Lisa Rena, but I never was like a hater. You know, I was like very like, oh, I mean, she's just an asshole or she's a villain, you know? And I, But as long as it was like petty, stupid drama, you know, you kind of like roll with it. But when she started really going at it, you know, and then deflecting and never having a storyline of her own and like, you know, doing all of those things over and over and over. I was like, we're getting tired. We're getting tired. We're getting tired. You know, and now you go into opinion in general, you know, it's like they don't want Lisa Rena anymore. She is literally about to hit Kelly, uh, Kelly Dot status. That's how bad it is. Like, we are not loving to hate her anymore. We are literally hating to hate her at this point. And if you read this book, which is basically the Bravo Bible, you know what that means, okay? So let's see what is going to happen. What do you guys think? Huh? Do you think that, she, that those moves that she's doing are basically she's saying that she quit the show or that she's going to quit or that she's done? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.